this is the helpful lock picker here and welcome back to my lock picking homeschool series the video I have for you today is going over raking I want to teach you today how to rake open your first lock raking is a skill that is very under appreciated in the lock sport community by many when they're first starting out a lot of people want to start to learn to single pin pick locks and be able to master that and they never end up grasping raking and really honing that skill the important thing about raking is it's just very effective and it's very fast and it's just a great approach to be able to get locks open. What you do need is a rake. This is a Bogota style rake. This one is also called a triple peak rake. You can see it has the three peaks on it right there. What you need to do essentially is when you're raking a lock you want to insert your rake and lift up and pull out as you're going and while you're doing this you're applying very light bottom of the keyway tension and you're setting all the pins randomly. This is considered a low level attack and isn't considered skilt. What you need to do is just get a couple locks to practice on. I have this clear lock here which I will show you. I'm going to just insert my bottom of the keyway tensioner and we will see what it takes to open it up so I'm going to use light bottom of the keyway tension I'm just going to insert it and now the plug has turned over you can see clearly that the key pins are separated from the driver pins when you're raking you're just randomly moving the key pins up and down and setting the driver pins randomly this is a very quick and effective method I'd like to show you this on a couple different locks, but what I'd like to do is show you ways that make it easier and ways that can make it more difficult. This is a Schleg SC4 key. It's a six pen key, and you can see that the bidding on it's relatively benign. Not too many ups and downs, so this would make an easy lock to rake. Since you're not taking too much care how high you're lifting the key pens, you're not going to really be paying attention to oversetting. So what can make raking difficult is, is that you can overset pens quite easily if you have a lock with good bidding. This is a similar lock, but you can see the ups and the downs on it are a lot more drastic. The pin one here is a seven cut, and then pin two is a one cut. So the seven cut's a very tall key pin, and you're gonna overset that very easily trying to set the other pins. And that can make raking a lot more difficult. Another thing that makes raking more difficult is the addition of security pins. Serrated pins, spools, and serrated driver, serrated key pins can make it a lot more difficult to get locks open. However, the vast majority of locks that are sold by places like Home Depot, many can rake open quite quickly, and it is just really a good skill to have. Here's an example of a Schleg lock. This is a Schleg Morta cylinder, and we'll see what it takes to get it open. It's a six pinner, so I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension on it, and I'm going to see what it takes to rake it open. I'm going to you okay so you can see that we are already open so when you're raking I just kind of do light bottom of the keyway tension and it's kind of like a rapid fire approach I'm always lifting up and out as I'm going so this is the key to this lock and I'm going to lock it up again and show you. Okay. Now, the next lock I have is a quick set lock. This is Defiant brand, but it works very well. This is a very common residential deadbolt that you can find at many places. And this is probably one of the most common locks you would find in residential settings. I'll show you how quickly you can get these open just by raking. So I got my light bottom of the keyway tension. I'm just going to kind of rapid fire it. And the lock has turned over. One thing to keep in mind now is that what Quickset has done and a lot of its competitors is they've started to add some spool pins in. But those still rake open 
pretty easily. They only put usually about two spool pins in there. So they do not completely stop it, but it is a nice, a, a nice thing that they are trying to do to make them a little bit more secure. Now this is my Schleg cutaway lock. I don't want to try to rake this one open, but I do just want to show you on it that the key bidding on it really makes a big difference. When you do try to rake this lock open, you can really overset key pin one quite easily because it is such a tall key pin. Let me see if I can And it can make it very hard to set because when I go from one to two, it's very hard to touch two without touching one. You can see that I'm already oversetting one and it can make raking a lot more difficult. But what I encourage you guys to do is just keep practicing raking. It's surprising how quickly you can get into locks by doing it. When I first started out, I bought a whole bunch of quick set cylinders online and practiced on those. And these Schlage cylinders I have here, I bought maybe like 10 of them and I raked all of them open and decoded them and made original keys to them, which was pretty cool. But just keep trying. Raking's really a lot of fun and a very effective method and it's a tool you want to keep in your arsenal when you are learning to open up locks quickly and effectively. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for checking this out and I hope everyone has a great day.